In this video, we'll see how we can use differentiation in the world of economics. There are many applications. We'll consider a very simple one. Here's the problem. The total cost CX in rupees associated with the production of X units in thousands of an item is given by CX equals to X cube minus 3X square plus 14X plus 2000. So this means if you put in X here, X is units in thousands, you'll get the total cost. And the total revenue Rx in rupees associated with the sale of X units in thousands is given by Rx equals to 15 plus 26X minus X square. This means we'll use this function to get the total revenue. Now the question is not about the total cost or total revenue. The question is about the marginal cost and marginal revenue is the incremental cost and the incremental revenue. We need to figure out the marginal cost and marginal revenue when we are selling and producing 2000 units and when we are selling and producing 3000 units. So we have to find marginal cost and marginal revenue for both of these cases. And once we figure these two out, we also have to figure out how much units are produced and sold when both of these are equal, when marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So pause the video, try figuring this out. Okay, let's do this together. Marginal cost and marginal revenue, they're the incremental costs and incremental revenues. If we have these functions, we can figure out the marginal cost and marginal revenue functions as well. Marginal cost, for example, can be calculated by differentiating this function. So marginal cost is equal to C dash X, which is a differentiation of this function with respect to X, D by DX of X cube minus three X square plus 14 X plus 2000. And similarly, we can find marginal revenue. That's the differentiation of the total revenue function. That's R dash X. That's equal to D by DX of 15 plus 26 X minus X square. Now these are polynomial functions. Straightforward differentiation will give us marginal cost and marginal revenue. Let's do that. So marginal cost, this function is 3x square, differentiation of x cube is 3x square minus 6x plus 14 plus 0 because constant definition is 0 and marginal revenue is 26 minus 2x, definition of 15 will be 0. So this is marginal cost and this is marginal revenue. Now we don't need these functions of total cost and total revenue because everything is being asked about marginal cost and marginal revenue. So we'll consider these two functions. All right. So let's look at the first scenario. 2000 units are produced and sold, which means we need to figure out the marginal cost when X is equal to two because units are in thousands. So when X equals to two, we can plug X equals to two here. We'll get the marginal cost for X equals to two or 2000 units. And we can do the same here. Marginal revenue when X equals to two, that's 26 minus two times two. We can figure these values out. We can do the same thing for X equals to three. The next case is 3000 units. So if you plug three instead of two, we'll get marginal cost at X equals to three. And we'll get the same thing here as well. Marginal revenue for X equals to three. All right, let's compute these four values. For this one, we have three times two square. That's four. So this is 12 minus six times two is 12 plus 14. So 12 minus 12 is zero. This is 14. So marginal cost is 14. What's marginal revenue? That's 26 minus four. That's 22. So for this scenario, marginal cost is 14 and marginal revenue is 22. Let's do the same thing for 3000. This is nine times three, 27 minus 18 plus 14. So this is nine plus 14, which is 23 cost is higher. What's marginal revenue? That's 26 minus six. That's 20 marginal revenue actually goes down. So here we can observe that when we are producing and selling 2000 units, our marginal cost is less and marginal revenue is higher, which means it's a good thing. Marginal revenue is higher than the cost. And in the next scenario, when we've scaled to 3000, our marginal cost is actually higher, but marginal revenue has gone down. So this is not a good scenario. So in this one, when you were selling 2000 units, the cost is less than revenue. Marginal cost is less than marginal revenue. And here marginal cost is greater than marginal revenue. And because both of these are polynomial functions, there's some value between 2000 and 3000 where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. So how many units are produced and sold when the marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue? A rough guess is 
somewhere between 2000 and 3000 but how do we get the exact number well we have to figure out the input x where marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue we can do this by solving both of these equations so the scenario when marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue is when this is equal to this so we can equate it 3x square minus 6x plus 14 equals to 26 minus 2x try solving this you will get the value of x okay let's do this together we have 3x square minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4x 14 minus 26 is minus 12 so we have to solve this quadratic 3x square minus 4x minus 12 equal to 0 we can use the discriminant formula d is b square minus 4ac that's minus 4 square minus 4 times 3 times minus 12 this is 16 this is 12 times 12 144 plus 144 so this is 160 root of 160 will be 4 root 10 this is 16 times 10 so root of 16 is 4 root of 10 is root 10 so we have root d now we can find the value of x x is minus b which is minus of minus 4 so that's just 4 plus minus root d that's 4 root 10 divided by 2 a that's 3 so divided by 2 into 3 now here we have two values does this mean that marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue for two different values here not really look at these values one of them is actually negative 4 minus 4 root 10 will give us a negative x which means we are producing and selling negative amounts of this item and that's not realistic so we'll not consider that scenario we'll see that x is equal to 4 plus 4 root 10 divided by 2 into 3 let's see if this value is between 2 and 3 let's simplify this is 2 plus 2 root 10 by 3 that's 2 by 3 times 1 plus root 10 now approximation of root 10 is 3.16 and 2 by 3 is 0.66 so that's 0.66 times 4.16 this comes out to be slightly less than 3 that's 2.74 so that's approximately 2740 units produced and sold when marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue and you can look at the graph as well this is marginal cost which is going down and then coming back up and this is marginal revenue which is steadily declining so what's good for business is to stay on the left of this point we should keep the marginal cost low and marginal revenue high and at this point 2.77485 we have both of these equal